welcome back to the No Code Creators channel. My name is Lacey. In today's video, we're going to build a personal landing page using card.co. This is a great platform for building responsive one-page websites and it's completely free to use. Also, we're going to be basing this off of a template, but you can create your own custom websites using card if you'd like to also. Let's get into it. So let me walk you through a little bit more of, of Card's uh, homepage here. So you have an option, you can choose a starting point or open the dashboard. We'll be choosing a starting point. And this is a one page site for pretty much anything. And it really is true to that statement. Um, it's really great for capturing emails. Um, there's third party services You know, in the next video that we're going to integrate and actually build from scratch. But let's go right now and we're going to choose a starting point and we are going to click sectioned and this acts like a multi-page site but it's really just one page so we're gonna go with this template down here I like it it's really clean simple to use especially if you're just getting started so we're gonna work our way from the top down um, here on um, these are our buttons so think of these these are your navigation through your one page site and I'm going to add a button because I want a YouTube button. And down here, you can uh, customize this more, but really up here on, if you click that paintbrush, you can have a solid button, an outline, um, so, and then you can work with some of the settings. You can give it an ID, a class name, um, attributes. We'll probably get into more of that later in the next video. So then we have this created up here and then we're going to go down and we're going to add an image. And we're gonna, I'm gonna pull in my image. I'm gonna straighten that a little bit. And then, And this also supports Markdown. So if you, and if you're not sure what Markdown is, it's a way to format, format your text without going in and having like a, um, an editor. So if I wanted this to be bold, I could just put a two asterisks there on each side and that would then make it bold. But for now, we'll just leave it as is. And then we're going to go up here and we're gonna change the font to Carla, I love Carla. Let's work our way down. We're gonna edit this section and as you can see, as you edit, it appears over here on the right, which is really great and helpful to show you exactly how it's going to look as you're editing. So now this section is a little bit different because now we're starting to have a, do you notice here it says header and this is about, this here is signaling to you with this hashtag that it's going to reroute to a new page when you click on this about button and I'll show you that after we launch. So let's, let me grab my text here so you're not having to watch me put all of this in and there we go. So there's my about and then my contact information. Do you notice here again, there's a new break. This is a new section. Um, you can delete this text, which I'm going to do because I don't have really anything to say about people contacting me. So I'm gonna delete this and I could update this if I wanted to, I'm gonna leave it for now. Um, but this is important, look over here on the left. Do you see these, you have the numbers here and you see this TEL here and then you have mail to here. What that is doing is it's saying, it's identifying a type of what this action is going to do. So this is, you see how it's highlighting, it's going to prompt an action. So if you do wanna update that, make sure to leave those in there and, um, or if you build from scratch, make sure to put them back in there. And then we have our footer down here, but remember because I created this button, I wanna create another section or another kind of fake page on here. So what we're going to do is go down to control and we're gonna click on this and we're going to give it, you can give it a section break. You could change it to a header, a footer or a scroll point. We're going to do a section break 
and I'm going to give it the name of YouTube. I'm gonna click done, and I'm gonna go back up here to my button, and I am going put hashtag YouTube in there. And that is going to allow it to scroll down or scroll to that section on my page. So now let's build out this little section. I want to add a video in here. I don't want to upload it. I want to embed it. So I'm going to grab my URL of the video. And you have some options down here. Um, I want it to loop and I, I want to take away the controls and I want it to autoplay. And you can even select a start point if you want. And it has put it up here, so you just drag it down. It's so simple, just I love the drag and drop. It makes it so much easier. And let's go in and add some text here. Uh, we're gonna say, check out my YouTube video. Let's bring it right above there and change it again, Carla. So we have, essentially this is it. I mean, this, this, that's how easy it is, especially when you start from a template. Let's go down here though real quick before we push this up and let's delete GitHub. You can enter in your handles here so we could do no code creators and then go down to our Facebook. I could link to the No Code Creator Facebook group and then our Instagram. Just No Code Creators. Okay, click done. And then let's preview it in mobile, how it's going to look. It looks good, everything is stacking just how I want it to. And now, Let's go over to publish it. So when you publish, you want to give your site a title. We're going to do Lacey's profile and a description um, profile of Lacey Kessler. And then because this is a free account, it's going to put your website with a .car.co URL. If you have a paid version, you can have a custom domain and we'll get into that in the next video. And then you find a name that you want to use. So I'm gonna try Lacey's amazing website. Let's see if that works. Oh, it's available, awesome. And then you hit publish. Okay, let's go visit our site. And there it is. And if you're wondering where those other sections went, remember, we're doing a one page that simulates multiple. So we go to the about, it's right there, contact, there it is, and YouTube. All right there. So if you're following along, congratulations, you just made a website. So hopefully that gave you a really good overview of how to use the platform. Next week, I'm going to show you how to use Card again, but this time we're going to really beef up your one-page site by using some different integrations from third-party providers. I'm really excited to see you there.